Welcome back to my channel. So today I did a full face using all new products. So basically I got a whole bunch of new stuff, primer, new moisturizer, new foundation, new lip products. Everything is new on my face except for the lashes. Yeah, this is kind of like a favorites tutorial. I'm not sure if that's what it should be called. Either trying new stuff or favorites tutorial. Either way, I like all of the stuff that I got. So um, I hope that you guys like it too. All the information you need will be in the description box, of course. So I hope that you guys enjoy this look. If you do, give me a thumbs up before we get started I know somebody's gonna ask about my nails what's going on with my nails these are nail wraps by NCLA this is what they look like uh, and these are the ones I have on my nails right now these are called boy bye and I'm assuming these are Beyonce inspired because they have lemons on them so I'm assuming that this is a lemonade inspired nail set and I like the shark ones if you follow me on snapchat you know all about the different ones that I have periscope and snapchat Y'all both know everything that happens before it happens. So these are designer nail wraps and you can basically use this whole set on both hands. You put on a coat of clear polish and then you will peel this off. It wraps around your nail and then you file it to the length of nail that you have. I feel like these nails will look a little bit better on people with shorter nails. I feel like with the longer nails, they look a little bit extra. So, um, yeah, I'll have the information about the NCLA nail wraps in my description box. Um, this shirt is a DIY that I made when I'm stressed out. I cut things. My hair is natural. If you notice any flakes in my hair, I tried a new product out and it made my hair flaky. And I'm not excited about it. I want to have bands just to make it look a little bit more put together because we definitely didn't do our hair this morning. Besides when I'm just rambling. Let's get on to the tutorial, okay? Bye. So Glam Glow sent me some stuff. And uh, one of the things they sent me is this new moisturizer and it's called the Glow Starter Mega Illuminizing Moisturizer. So I'm going to try this for you guys. This is what it looks like and it's just like it's in the color Nude Glow. And I'm assuming it's just an illuminizing moisturizer. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh. Oh. Well, it sinks into the skin nicely, I will say that. I mean, it has nice, a nice sheen to it but it's not like super like shiny so I got a new primer from uh, Sephora and it's called the pores no more pore refining primer by dr. Brandt everybody was saying that this was good specifically Nicole Guerrero was saying that this is really good for pores and over time it's supposed to make your pores look smaller I just have really textured skin so I got this to help with that I also Notice that it's good for oily skin, or at least that's what I've heard. Most people who use it have oily skin, so I feel like it will work really well for me. And I don't really like mattifying primers because I feel like what mattifying primers are supposed to do, it does the opposite. Most mattifying primers over time just stop working. Is that how that works for you? Because for me, that's how that works. Like, I have the Becca pore primer or whatever, but it just doesn't work for me anymore. I, I, I loved it when I first got it, but now it's like not working. I'm so sad but I like this primer it's very smoothing it really does refine my pores I feel like it really gets those pores refined you know if you follow me on snapchat you know I showed you guys the new stuff that I got from Sephora so this was the two foundations that I purchased I got uh, the makeup forever ultra HD foundation stick in the color 177 because I'm usually 174 Four, I think but in the foundation stick they don't have that color they only have 173 and then it skips to 177 so it is the right color for the outer portion of my face not so much for like the inside do you see the contrast like it's really yellow in here and then it's like more bronzy and reddish in here I think my last makeup video which was my um, drugstore video a lot of you guys noticed that my foundation was too yellow in the winter time I'm super yellow but then in the summertime I get a little more red and I can't really be like hey stop it skin because guess what my skin's gonna say no because the foundation color is only one color, it's not going to match your entire face if you have a lot of discoloration or if you have a lot of different shades in your skin. So when I put on a foundation, it's either going to make me look way too light um, because it matches the inner portion of my face or it's going to make me look like too dark because it's going to match the outer portion of my face. Throughout the day, my foundations usually get darker on me because uh, I have oily skin so they oxidize a little. But I really, really, really like this foundation stick. Where have I been and why haven't I been using this? Lately I've been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. 
um, and I used to use this all the time and I stopped using it and now I'm going back to it um, because it does not crease under my eyes. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer to apply it but I'm not using the concealer on the inside. I'm just using the brush because I don't know why I just decided that I'm going to do that today. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend out my concealer. We're just going to work that into the skin. So now that I have the inner portion of my face highlighted, gonna uh, set that with powder. And I'm gonna just set that underneath my eye here, using it sparingly, starting out with a little, and then working your way up to a lot. <laughs> but I really like this Airspun powder. Oh, this is Airspun powder, by the way. It's not Laura Mercier, but it is like Laura Mercier. So if you didn't wanna spend that money, then go ahead and get you some Airspun from Walmart or Walgreens. Walgreens tends to have stuff a little more expensive than Walmart. And I'm just patting that in with my beauty blender to kind of give it a skin-like effect. Keep it from getting too cakey on me. This is my uh, cover effects. Cover effects click stick in N100. And I'm just gonna take a brush and blend that out first and then I'm gonna go over it with a beauty blender but I like that makeup forever foundation so much it, everything that you put on top of it blends so nicely into it I think it's the perfect stick foundation it's one of the best stick foundations I've ever used so now that I have all that blended I'm gonna get some powder uh, from makeup forever and this is the color 174 just gonna press that all over my face everywhere to blend everything in and make it look seamless okay I got this stuff from Bobby Brown this is and I'm not sure if you can like actually see it it's not like a super heavy highlight I don't know I don't know it looks pretty in the store so I bought it just gonna take like a corner of my booty of my beauty blender and I'm gonna dab that into my skin and see how it just gives a nice subtle sheen it's not anything like heavy and dramatic but it just just enough to like so like when the sun hits it you know it smells like like um it smells like my Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford I feel like it has like a beachy coconutty smell so I'm just blending that over my cheekbones I got the Becca the Jaclyn Hill palette from Becca it's so beautiful Everything in here is just bombastic, boombastic, Mr. Fantastic. Um, but that's what it looks like. And oh my God, everything in here is just so glorious. So I like this. I think this is like amaretto. What is it called? Yeah, amaretto, and it's like a blush, and it's a very nice, like flush, peachy color. And I don't know how to describe it, but I like it a lot. Like, look at that. Do you see it? It's just gorge. This palette is everything. Like if you haven't gotten this palette yet, go to the store and get it. Sephora still has it in stores. I'm pretty sure they do. I don't know if it's still on sale online. I'll put a link in the description box, but it's so amazed. Like I can't get enough of this blush. I think it's absolutely gorge. And then this rose goldy is a great topper for that blush. So I've been wearing that too on top. It's like a highlight blush. But Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop are definitely gorgeous, okay? Don't get me wrong, they're gorgeous. I just don't wanna go too heavy handed because I don't want my highlight to be super, super, super bright. But I am gonna use a stippling brush like this just to add a little bit to the top of my cheekbone. It's so hard to not do a lot because I don't, I don't wanna be extra highlighted, but I can't, I just can't. <laughs> oh. I promise you guys I tried, I tried extra hard didn't work out. I love everything that I bought, but the palette in particular is amazeballs. And if you don't like your highlight to be extra blingy, you know, you can go back with your beauty blender and pat it into the skin and make it a little more skin-like. I mean, you should do this anyway because it kind of helps to blend everything together, but it also takes it down a tad bit. And then it just looks like it's all sunken into your skin, you know? What do I need to do? Oh, I forgot to put on my lip stuff. Uh, this is the Glam Glow matte lip treatment plump rages and i have the glossy one and i've been wearing the glossy one for like a couple days or so i want to try the matte one today this is a lip plumper 
And I know you're already thinking, you don't need lip plumping, girl, you got some lips. What you need to plump your lips for? The thing about my lips is that although my lips are big and luscious, um, and I love my big luscious lips, they're my favorite part of my face. Um, let me not talk and do this. I do find that they have a lot of lines in them. What the lip plumper helps to do is it helps to fill in those lines and like make your lips more succulent. Succulent? Is that a word? Is that the right word? Or that's a plant. A succulent is a plant. So a lip plumper isn't gonna make your lips look ten times bigger, but it's gonna make your it's gonna make your lips more juicy and appear fuller. So where my lines are, it fills in those lines. So I'm gonna cut here and do my eyebrow tutorial and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the rest of the face. So now that I have my brows on, and if you guys wanna know how I did my brows, I have a tutorial on it, so you guys can go check that out. Um, we're pretty much Gucci Mane. I just need to, what do I need to do? Um, put on my eyelashes, I guess. I think I'm just gonna put on these. These are my uh, House of Lashes iconic lash, which I need to buy new ones because I've worn these probably 20 times. I'm gonna put on lashes. I'm gonna be one take Tammy with these lashes and try to do this with my hands because I don't know where my tweezers are. So we're gonna try to get this in one take. I'm scared. You guys, stop texting me. Yes! I think that's the first time I've ever put lashes on without any complications. Let's try the other one. You guys, I'm so proud of myself. Yes! Yes! This is like the first time I've ever done this. I'm so proud. I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara on the bottom. I'm gonna do my lips. I don't know what color I wanna wear on my lips. I think I wanna wear like something bright for the summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Oh, let's wear a metallic lip. Yeah, I got the ones from ColourPop. Or wait, should I do zebra or queen? Let's do zebra. I think I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the other one that I have, what is it called? Man Eater. I really like Man Eater a lot, so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of that in the center. Yes, queen! So this is the All Nighter spray, and I need some new Scandinavia, but Scandinavia isn't sold in stores, and I was in Sephora, and I was like, I just need some spray. So I went ahead and bought this one, and I'm pretty sure that Scandinavia makes this spray. Yep, it says buy Scandinavia on the, on the bottle. I'm gonna go run around in circles to let this dry and I'll come back. So, if there's anything new that you would like me to try out or give a test drive so I can let you guys know how I like it personally, let me know and I will definitely do that in the future. Other than that, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.